is Matt Bullen. I'm a pro wrestler and I've uh, wrestled now for 12 years, so. But yeah, I got a wife that I've been married to for two years and uh, in about two weeks we're expecting twin boys. As a full-time job, I am a manager of a pizza shop. I did have a phone call earlier with the owner. He expressed that he wants to sell this place because he can't financially keep it going anymore. And um, he only gave me an opportunity to buy it at a very good rate. But uh, I, I don't know if, I, uh, if that's something that I want to embark on at this stage of my life, to be quite honest. Right? You know, I got a wife, I got two kids on the way, you know. Can so. you do it though? Like, do you think you could scrape up that kind of coin? Well, it's not a matter of scraping the coin up. I've got the coin. It's a matter of, it's, you know, look at the last person that owned this place and what happened. You know what I mean? It's not a matter of having the coin. It's a matter of, is this place going to be able to be profitable? And profitable for everybody making good living, including you guys. You know? My whole, like, you know, I make my living out of this place, so it's uh, like my whole life, so. If I don't have this job, like, I gotta find something else, right? So. There's a lot of pros and cons that are gonna be weighed out buying this. It's not just something that I'm gonna jump into. We've got a lot of other aspects of my life that it would be, you know. Well, you gotta let us know what's going on. Oh, absolutely. I, I really can't afford to lose my job. Do you guys, I got a question for you guys. Uh, do I look like an asshole or a piece of shit to you guys? No, man, that's, right? why, that's why I, we were hoping you were buying right. the place. But if I, but on the contrary, if I'm not going to be buying this place, I'll give you guys plenty of time. Yeah, yeah it's going to probably go down. It's probably going to go down. Like, well, I can tell you right now, if yeah. I don't buy it, it is going to go under unless somebody else buys it. Yeah. Right? Well, you can figure it out because, like, I need a job, man. I don't know well, about I, this I, guy, I, but yeah. and, and he knows me. I need a job. Hey, right? Like, hey. holy Christ, I've been here for two years, man. My bills are all piled up, man. I got rent to pay and everything. Like, there's, there's nothing more than I would like to do than buy this place and keep it going. It's great. It's great business, okay? But I got to weigh the pros and cons. It's not just buying this, right? It's, you know, my wrestling career. It's my wife's pregnant with twins. So it's not just if it was me and I can afford to take this financial risk. Right. right. Like, right. I don't know. We're sitting here squabbling about our petty little, our own petty little problems, right? There. Yeah, but, hey, yeah, yeah. I can assure you guys 100%. That when I know what's going on, whether I'm going to buy this place or whether I'm not going to buy this place, as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know, okay? Well, we'd appreciate it, man. Okay, and make sure you get that phone. Yeah, yeah. I got you handled it. Let me know for sure, man. I don't mind helping you out. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm great, man. Thanks. Traditional pizza shop. Yeah, I'm great, man. Thanks. Traditional pizza. Hey, how you doing? I'd like to keep this job. Without Matt, I think this place is just gonna shut down. This has gotta be like one of the things, the hardest thing to do to invest that much money and, and have a wife, two kids on the way. I, I'm just worried about my job. It's my, my life, or it's where I make my money, man. Like this is where I pay my bills. It's where I, yeah, that's everything to me right now. So if I don't have this, I gotta find another job. And uh, you know, the stress about this place almost closing, man, like, yeah, it's, it gets on to people, man. Like, everybody, every day you come in, you try to start your day, man, and somebody's got to say something about, uh, you know, oh, are we going to close down or whatever, right? And then, you know, you're worried about your job. Like, oh, my God, is it, Jesus, I got bills to pay, man. How am I going to pay my rent, right? And it, and it goes on. And then the next thing you know, somebody else is asking the same question two minutes later, right? So, like, we're worried to death about losing our jobs. And the unemployment rate in this city right now is so high. And to lose your job right now would probably devastate me, right? And I don't know if these guys understand that, man, that, that this is everything to us and the staff in this store. Like, it's like they got to think about it. They must see in the paper how many unemployment people around the city and for us to go find another job like that it just isn't gonna happen I said I didn't want to see the place close right I just, I just couldn't handle that man I said no we say 110 percent this guy gives 110 percent yeah. this man, guy stays here like even after hours man it still helps yeah, I spend a lot of time here. Just, yeah. I'm just I'm around a lot. I don't have much of a social life anyway, so I just come here and help out and stick around and 
clean it up really and just keep everyone in a positive vibe and keep them going. No, we don't. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get this done, so I'll talk to you then. I think becoming the owner of this place, it's just, it's going to be hard to run a full-time operational business, uh, plus the commitments that I have with Russell Center, plus the fact that my wife's pregnant with twins, uh, so it's just, it's a lot on my plate in, in every aspect of my life right now. If I don't buy this place, it will shut down, and there is no interested parties in buying this place other than me, so, you know, it's a lot to, uh, it's a lot to think about, but um, is I gotta, are, are we good here? Because I, uh, I gotta go talk to my wife. I got some decisions to, uh, to make real quick. But uh, I guess if you guys are following me, you might as well come and uh, see this.